Yes. This is Kamoi Street Food Center, a food center in the busy city of Singapore, Central Business District. And this is a place where hungry office workers come. It's an oasis for people who are hungry for food, street food, hawker food, delicious food, Singaporean food. And there are two stories here. And we visited most of the stores, the good stores here. What's good to eat here? on the first floor now we're heading up to the next floor the second floor yes the second floor Did you forget there is a second floor so we're gonna head up here and we're gonna see what we can find that's good to eat and we're now on the second floor lots of seating here too and of course Lots of food, lots of delicious hawker food, street food. But before we have some food, maybe we just need a little caffeine, something to pick us up, something to wake us up, something like a coffee break, maybe. Are you ready for a coffee break? Yes, this store sells the usual Singaporean style coffee, but also the Western flavors. So you can come here, you can have a mixture, you can have toast too. They sell interesting items. But what I do like from them is their coffee. So this is the coffee. I ordered their kopi si kosong. C for carnation milk. Kosong means no sugar. Yes. So it's a Singaporean style coffee in a disposable cardboard cup served hot good coffee good coffee beans i do like it and so this coffee cost me one dollar and sixty cent not the cheapest but cheaper than if you go to a you know one of those chain coffees but still very good so what you have is you have hot hot coffee Good coffee, no sugar, that's my preference, you know, you can have it with sugar if you want, but for me, no sugar, hot coffee, and a good meet up, a good coffee break, and this is a good place to come for coffee, they also have toast, they have other types of coffee, you know, those flavoured coffees, they also have um, toast, and toast with different types of bread too so if you want a break a coffee break this is a good place to come for one in the same row as coffee break there are a few other good stores to eat and one of the stores is this place called Yuan Chun famous Lomi yes here they sell Lomi a Lomi that is quite popular here not as popular as it is used to be in the past it used to be much much more popular but still i must say the, they do make a good bowl of lomi the braising sauce the starchy braising sauce is quite good here and so i ordered their lomi and this is it so you have noodles underneath there underneath a starchy gooey uh, broth with a long history you know, and then you have noodles underneath there and then lots and lots of different ingredients on top so first of all I must say the braising sauce is much is lighter and more watery and less starchy than other versions of lomi but when you taste it you can taste the depth of flavors in the sauce the sauce here this is good i think what i really taste from there is probably the star anise and, and probably herbal flavors a nice herbal flavor then you have lots and lots of ingredients pour in a bit of um, dark vinegar give it an uh, extra vinegary flavor and then you have the noodles yes this is the mini noodles cooked then flavored by the 
freezing sauce, the starchy sauce, the thick sauce, the dark sauce, and lots and lots of ingredients. So this, like I said, what's really good here is really the braising sauce. The braising sauce, when you taste it, it's not your usual lomi braising sauce. It is more complex. It has more depth of flavors, which is interesting. And of course, you have the noodles. Cooked well, just that the... How do I say this? The texture, the texture is a bit soft. For me, I prefer my noodles more to have a more of a bite texture to it. Here is a bit soft. You know, it's one of the ways to eat alomi, but for me, I prefer it to be have a better texture. And unfortunately, the braising sauce doesn't really flavor the noodles very well. The noodles and the sauce together, it is a bit bland. But what it does well is this braising sauce goes very well with all the ingredients on top like the fried stuff, the braised pork belly all flavoured very very well by this braising sauce actually complements each other very well it's as if the sauce was actually created to go well with the ingredients but not so well with the noodles and just next door is another store here that has been here for quite a while called Li Sing Nasi Lemak and here they sell Chinese style Nasi Lemak and it's a very popular store that very f how do I say this the items sell out very fast so you have the usual items so you have the nice co coconutty uh, rice nice coconut flavor coming for it savory then you have the thick, almost uh, like a paste, chili sambal. And then you have chicken wing, which are the three main ingredients here. Then I also ordered the uh, ikan bilis and peanuts to give it the extra crunch, some uh, uh, omelette and a fish fillet. So this is what I normally order when I have my nasi lemak. Basically around these few items. But What's really good here is the chili sauce here. So what's good about this is first of all the rice. The rice has a nice coconutty fragrance coming from it and it's savory. And because of that, it goes very well with the sambal chili, which is like a thick paste, sweet and really spicy. You can this all deep fried anchovies and peanuts. So you have a nice firm rice, slightly coconut flavor. The rice by itself a bit savory, then pair together with a really sweet, spicy chili sauce, then crunchy bits, which is the ikan bilis. And overall, I do say that. It is one of the better uh, Chinese style nasi lemak you can get in this area. So if you do like nasi lemak, you want know, to try the Chinese style, then come here and give it a try. And heading a few doors down, is another store called Po Chai Chi Bean Smith Noodles. And at this store, they sell Bean Smith Noodles. What I did was I ordered a large portion and this dish is actually popular from Bado, which the store comes from and what we have here is a soupy dish and you can see the soup here is a mincemeat soup and when you first taste it, there is a nice garlicky oil flavor to it. This is a very good, savory, delicious, meaty soup. Then you have a small, some chili, with soy sauce, cut chili. But, look at this. You have a very delicious, very flavorful soup. Clear soup, oily on top.
and then noodles underneath and then of course wontons which is they do eat well here soft skin flavorful filling and you can have a choice of noodles what i chose here was their mikia which is these thin noodles look at this thin yellow noodles and look at this some chives but 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 the big part here is this soup here very well flavored nice beans minced meat flavor you have the noodles which is supposed to absorb the flavors from the soup and then the wontons which is also cooked nicely soft tender skin delicious delicious feeling and this is the dish that you're gonna have i could consider this a singaporean version of ramen yes the singaporean version of ramen it looks like it doesn't it this is what i think of it three choices of noodles uh, yeah this is noodle there you see look at meat pork which is the center version of this and then kway teow if i'm not mistaken kway teow was the original noodle you ate with this type of dish but now i like the meat yeah. it's just a uh, Nice texture to it, look at that. So let's first taste the soup. Mm. Mm. There's a nice garlic oil here. Mm. Meaty. Clean tasting. Clear. Mm. Mm. Definitely a very prominent. A bit alkaline, a bit uh, garlicky. Look at the noodles here, man. Mm. The noodle has a nice uh, fact that it should be chewy, a bit pumpkin. The one hand. Definitely the garlic oil there. So overall, unfortunately, the noodles didn't absorb the soup very well. If it did, like the first time I had it, then it would be very, very nice. Just that this time, you know, but the soup here, I must say, the soup here, they do it super well, super nice, super yummy, and very, very flavorful. And before we go to the next row, there's this store at the corner here that sells wadai. And they fry it freshly, so it is quite nicely. Only problem is, it is a bit expensive, you know. Uh, wadai you know, will set you back around $1 plus for each of them. And it's just normal size. But, you know, this store is around here. If it's around here, you can give it a try for a snack. And as we're heading to the next row, we're coming to another store, an interesting store here, called Ryan's Warung Abnormal. This store specializes in Malay food, mainly uh, ayam penget. Ayam penget, uh, Malay word, ayam means chicken, penget means flattened. So they have different types of uh, ayam penget here and a few other items. But what I've tried here mainly is their ayam penget. So this is their ayam, jumbo ayam penyek. So it is a mixture of something similar to a chicken cutlet and ayam penyek. So you have some salad here. And then with a sour yogurt dressing. Then the chicken. Chicken is crispy, warm, crispy. And then they put on top of it these crispy, crispy bits, which I really, really like. Then they also put in a bit of the Indonesian sweet dark soya sauce. And then all this together with their sambal chili, which is super spicy and goes well with the rice and the chicken. So the ayam penguin here, they do it well. Just that it's not as interesting as the next one that I'm going to show you. 
what you have here is the Amsterdam. It's similar to the Ayam Pinyin, it's just that they put on top of it a cheesy sauce. Can you see that? Oh yes, the cheesy sauce. Ooh. You have the same chicken, just that you have this nice gooey cheesy sauce poured on top of the chicken. The cheese here has a medium flavour to it. Not too flavourful but more flavourful than your normal cheese. But it's sweet but somehow complements the fried chicken very very well. And the chicken is something like a braided fried chicken. So I must say, this is interesting, this is nice, especially if you like cheesy stuff. And goes well with rice. And then of course you also have the nice super spicy sambal chili and also some crispy bits that they put there and a bit of salad with the sour yogurt dressing. Overall, I must say, this is a very interesting and unique dish and I quite like it. And so, this brings us to the end of our video here. As you can see, there are rows and rows of stalls here with lots of seating for you to sit down and eat. Eat the delicious food, hawker food, street food, Singaporean food at this food center, Amoy Street Food Center. There's just so much food that I cannot, I cannot, I really, really cannot cover all this in just one video. So stay tuned. Within the next few days, the next part of this series will be out. So look out for it. And as per usual, like, share, and subscribe. I got Patreon, I got PayPal, support me on those. And lastly, but the most important thing, the thing that you have to do is to join me for my next food adventure. I will see you guys around. And girls, bye bye.